So apparently this is the meta for Warzone. So according to the Warzone loadout Twitter, specifically make Twitter content about loadouts in Warzone, this is apparently the absolute meta stuff. And right now we do a lot of long range. You see a lot of RPKs. I have my own personal build, so I want to try this out. They even have the specific tunings down right here. So pause the video if you want to see this exactly. So then I put together this build exactly. Interesting thing, no stock rear grip or magazine or even a barrel chain. But they added a laser sight on here, which actually increases the aim down sight speed, aim stability, and sprint speed. The la your laser sight is always visible. You get the Polar Flare S, which just kind of does like sound suppression, bullet velocity damage, and all that good stuff. Recoil management. Uh, same kind of thing here with the FTAC Rubber 56, which the only downsides on this one are just aimed at sight speed and walking speed. And then you have high velocity round, which you can imagine what they do. They increase your velocity, but also reduce your damage over range. But you can compensate that a little bit with some damage over range on the fine tuning aspects of the whole thing. Now, the one thing I don't have exactly is this optic because you have to, well, you have to unlock the optic that they suggested. You have to get the Bass P up to a certain level or at level five. and. I'm a poor gamer and I don't have the battle pass quite yet. Uh, to holidays has happened, so give me some slack. But essentially, it just kind of looks like the SZ Recharge DX. So let's kind of jump into fire range real quick and just kind of see how this whole weapon kind of shoots and kind of plays out. Oh, whoa. I mean, I'm doing very light pulls on my mouse to pull it downward and well, this kind of seems like it will beam. Well, let's jump in the war zone and see if this really is the meta RPK. There we go. Of course, you know me, being from Seattle, I had to wreck the Seattle Surge skin. It might not be the most optimal, all blacked out LA Thieves skin, but you, know, you gotta rep the homies. I should want to change up over here. It's kind of just outside the circle. The safe cracker, so some quick money that we can hopefully get our web loadout weapon in. And so let's see how this plays out. All right, let's check our bags here, see if anyone's dropping with us. It's looking like a pretty clear drop. Oh, we got someone over there, though. They might be trying to get spicy with me. They might be also going for the safe cracker. You guys want to do safe cracker together? Don't, don't kill each other. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. I'm down with safe cracking. Hey, I'm down with safe cracking! Don't shoot me! I'm down for safe cracking, you jerk! I thought we had a gentleman's agreement. I would say let's go, but I can't pronounce this guy's name. Shh, 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 I got a min 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 uh, let's see what happens here. Okay, you guys pushing up the middle right here. AFK in the back though. Take this guy out then. Oh, come on teammate, you got this. There you go. Alright. Let's jump back in and see if we can get that, our loadout. It's probably a little too spicy, but let's go for the safe cracker right here. Hey, this is spicy. Holy crap! Oh my god, did they give me a, they give me the grenade launcher? You really gonna give me the grenade launcher? Oh! Here we go. <laughs> hey man. Actually kind of nice that the safe crackers were more up the hill now. Kind of in a busy city and there is a helicopter that is moving. So but to get these, it might not be what we need to do, but it's the money that we need. I mean, it's very much the millennial thing to do, right? We picked up an RPK. This might be close enough, right? <laughs> oh God, there are gunfights happening in this town. Be quiet and just open the doors. Okay, it sounds a little too hot on that left crack. Safe crack, let's go to the right one first. Yeah, I hate going inside these cities. There's so many angles, so many rooftops. Like that right there. Here we got a sniper rifle and an RPK. Basically the loot drop meta, I guess you want to call it that. But one thing I kind of want to touch on is that I've never really delved too much into Warzone. Like I had it installed on my PC, right? I played it here every once in a while, but I was mainly playing a lot of Halo. And I mean, when I say a lot of Halo, I mean, if you saw my Twitter post recently, you would know that 77% of my game time on Steam was playing Halo Infinite. So, you know, my boy, I put the, I put in some time. But now with the inf with Modern Warfare 2 not being out, and I've been really enjoying it. Multiplayer's been pretty fun. Oh, we got a free play. There we go. And a gas mask. And I got the cash. How about a buy station? We can get our loadout weapon then. The thing is that uh, now that like th things with Halo Infinite are kind of just chill at the moment, if you know what I mean. That I figured that it probably would be a decent time to jump in and play a little something else. Oh my god, that's some safe crack right below me. Oh shit! The enemy took that one, but we will be back to finish the job. Okay, well, and that's why I hate going into the cities because of that exact situation right there. Just some guy on top of a roof. Just trying to make my day not as awesome, which is exactly what I'm trying to avoid. I'm trying to have a good time here, man. Alright, let's check out the scenery this time again. 
We do have one person dropping with me. It's getting a little too much spice. What's he, what he going here? Are we just... Uh, where's a gun? Luckily, there's another safe cracker around here. I can probably just run and grab that. I'm just, I'm just pressing E. Just grab all the things. Eventually, there'll be like something I could use. There we go. Okay, well, we got our safe going. I'm still incredibly paranoid that there's someone just to my right. Large pack, okay. And I'll shove him past. Oh, geez. So, what I want to talk about also is the RPK truly the meta of Warzone. Now, I don't know if that's exactly the case. I think it's just kind of the first good weapon, overall weapon, that a lot of people found that seemed to do pretty well for itself. But I don't really know if that really means that, like, other weapons within Warzone are irrelevant. Kind of like how it was a lot of times with Warzone 1. Oftentimes you would find the meta and that's like the loadout you run. If you don't run that meta, then you're basically going to be sitting most of the time in the respawn screen. And the like, well, other state character's like right here. So I think we might as well just go get it. Oh, and a three play, that's clutch. We got an AR. I like that a lot more. I mean, I've been running the RPK for sure with my own specific loadout, but I wanted to test out this one by the uh, Warzone loadout Twitter to see if it really is the loadout you gotta be running with. Of course, there were airstrikes being called right on that buy station. I figured it would be a little hot. We could find a building and then we got another spot to go for. <laughs> this place has been looted, but not really that much. Found some loot here. You know what, there's an observatory one right there with the bounties still available. You never know. I mean, observatory is kind of dangerous, but we'll see. But honestly, I kind of liked how Warzone 2 started out with like the lack of loadouts and relying on ground loot. I feel just kind of add a little bit more randomness to the gameplay. It made it a little more fresh and exciting instead of having to be so optimized all the time when it comes to loadouts and stuff. I swear my screen didn't freeze. That was uh, some fantastic fall damage right there. That was they definitely, if you felt like that in real life, you would clearly be extremely dead. I mean, that's real. That's what's so realistic about Warzone. I love that. I don't know if you can tell that's complete sarcasm. I'm actually fuming inside my brain right now. Oh, they had a teammate leave. Hey guys, wanna work together? Yeah, let's work together. Let's get this jailer. You got your teammate left. Let's help you out, Ducky. I'm running around with my fist out, Ducky. Come on, Danny boy. What's that? Danny boy. Oh, no, Danny boy, what are you doing? Danny, we're trying to help. Hey, Why choose violence? We're just trying to help you, Ducky. Oh, what's going on? Oh, never mind. I'm just going to die anyways. I swear, you can't trust anybody nowadays. All right, there's just too many people dropping on that safe cracker. We got to go find somewhere else to go. That's a good start. I don't see the guy come across the way here, so that must mean that all the safe crackers... Oh, there's a safe here. That definitely means somebody's gonna make their way over here. And there's his footsteps. And there he is. I was like, I see the safe cracker. That definitely means that was the guy. All right, do the dirty work for me. Can I have all this cash and all these looty loots? I'm liking it. Which I got that buy station over here. Like I just had a sneaky suspicion that there would be a safe cracker in the one of the buildings I landed at. Luckily, there was. But yeah, I feel like the Warzone 2 no, no, no. meta isn't as defined as it was back in Warzone 1. Warzone 1, it always just kind of felt like it was a constant game of whack-a-mole and just trying to, you know, figure out what's the most OP thing, then abuse that, and then once that's done being abused, then go somewhere else. Either another weapon or setup, riot shields, dummy sticks, whatever the heck, I don't know. And also, a lot of the ground loot I find in Warzone 2 is actually rather usable. I mean, obviously, being able to have like a sight and four grips and just kind of the weapon tuned exactly how you'd like it is obviously much more beneficial for you. But I would say that a lot of times you can do just fine with ground loot. I've gotten plenty of wins with just using ground loot. That was one of my concerns when they brought in like full on loadouts into Warzone 2 and also being able to lower the cost of everything. That I was afraid that it would just be kind of just like Warzone 1. Guys, we finally did it. We got ourselves an RPK that's fully kitted. That's worth a, this is worth a video in itself, man. Just trying to get this loadout. Someone just threw a grenade on the loadout. Here, footsteps now. Oh, he's like right over here. There we go. And he didn't have a self-res either. He definitely knew I was there, but uh, 
You made a little too much noise there, my friend. You see how beam that guy was? Jeez. Didn't even stand a chance. Oh no! I had a feeling that gunfire would uh let him know that we were here. You near a buy station, it's a pretty spicy spot. You see on the radar they're coming from above the hill. Quite a ways. Oh my god, did he put a claymore right down there? He has an RPG. He just walks around outside with an RPG and barely even aims on me and gets the kill. Holy crap. The fact that I could barely hear his footsteps, I mean, he's like stomping around. This is just like, I feel like the footsteps in this game are so freaking weird, man. What you doing, bruh? What you doing? What you doing, bruh? What you doing, bruh? Let's make it happen, bruh. All right, Kevin, let's do this, bruh. That's right. Dirt, I appreciate your efforts, man. There you go. A plus. I kind of feel like we dare. I feel like we dare. Worst case scenario, at least you got a chance to see a little bit of the RPK in action. Keep an eye, see if everyone's around it. Oh, they are act there are lots of mean people around it. Give me this one. This one might be a little bit more pleasant. Alright. Got it back. Oh I mean not for long though. Oh my gosh. I ray game sniped out here. Someone doing a safe cracker right now? I think he is. We're getting our safe cracker camp kill? I mean, yep, he was on that roof right there. Oh, and a three plate. Dude, we're blessed. We're not too far from the circle either. We can do this. You know, I'm not too sure about the laser sight on this thing, especially since it's a visible laser sight. So if I was like aiming out this window, they could see it and they'd be like, oh, there's a guy right there. And I don't really know if like, if you're using an RPK, I don't really think having faster EDS time is worth it. I think you're, the reason why you're going with the RPK is for the ammo capacity and the damage over range, which obviously you'd want to have a somewhat decent ADS speed, but I just feel like you would want to focus more on the range. Oh, there's a guy right there. Oh, you, oh, the guy with the safe cracker died. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Did we just like make a swim for it, do you think? I go from one dock to the other and across safely there. The guy on top of that building is going to have to come my way. He's not coming over here. Well, wow. get on top of this roof. Oh no! Oh my gosh! These freaking demons, man! I swear to God. You always need to stay on the most further. I was just there too, man. Oh, that's pain. I swear to God, most of the time you just need to stay on the most very outer edge of the map at all times, especially when it comes to the solos, man. Oh my gosh, this is rough. Can we spectate this dude and see like what he's doing to make it so like he can get further than me because I mean he's got gold weapons so clearly that means he's a better player oh uh, guy knows exactly where he is he th came in with a ATV a slow ADS speed for an assault rifle really slow ADS speed yeah that's what got you wrecked there buddy I see I was, I was talking about the ADS speed it's really important and I, I understand like you want to have it you know be relatively fast but you also gotta recognize what kind of situations you're using the weapons in that guy using like a straight up assault rifle should have a pretty decent ADS speed. Me using an LMG like the RPK, which is apparently the meta, you would think you'd want to stick more to the outer edges, keep your distance and stuff. Obviously, because you're with your movement speed being reduced heavily with using LMGs, which I'm not a big fan of, but the clip size certainly is really nice. Let's see what Breakdown does here. He's just like the most cracked out dude. He's just constantly YY opening doors. This guy can't sit for more than like a half a second without pressing something. That's when you know you're a good Call of Duty player when you're just cracked out of your mind just walking through doors. How is that guy able to make that jump? I fell from 10 feet and I killed myself. This guy makes a belly flop from three stories and is 100% fine. Are you kidding me? Huh? Again, you can fall from five stories and just take fall damage. Me, fall 10 feet, instantly dead. Let's see how he instigates this right here. Guy's on the roof, so he has the advantage no matter what, however you look at it. But he knows that the circle's got pushing him. He heard that guy drop in. He's got tracker on. That's actually kind of nice. Easy kill right there. For breakdown here, he's able to YY, curb slide, open doors left and right, belly flop from 18 stories and be just fine. I need to get this guy. Does he have, does a PDHD flopper in this game? Like zombies? But look at the RPK though. I mean, I think this guy is using pretty much a very similar loadout. I think that's a big thing why people love the RPK is because it just beams. Because this is the kind of distance that you want to be at when you're trying to use an LMG. This guy's got a great combo though. It's like the SMG, LMG combo for Warzone. Get the close range and the long range taken care of. Oh my goodness. Oh, and the guy well done. in the corner. No matter how many button presses you do, 
The corner camper will always succeed in Warzone, man. Obviously, you can see the corner camper is also using the RPK, but in a much more advantageous way of just utilizing a corner. <laughs> There's eight players left to see if Mob and High is not too high to where he can shoot straight and, you know, stick with the circle here. There's some guy like right above him, though. There he is. Yeah, say, don't fear the circle. You know, it's okay. You can take a little circle damage. It's fine. He's got a three play he can pick up as well. Oh, but he's getting popped. Make it quick, dude. You're not making it quick. I am very concerned for mobbing mob high here. Right. Oh, God. The other guy there's got the height advantage as well. He's got a sniper or at least some kind of long range. And another guy's got the high ground. Yeah. Not much in the way of hope on that one. This is a really unfortunate circle for people who just were not at observatory. Four players left. Who's going to come out on top? Oh, El Chapa, though. Getting shot. Guy fall back. He only has two plates. He doesn't have a vest, surprisingly. In this late into the game. He has six kills. He must have had like a gulag respawn or something. Oh my goodness! There's another <laughs> Holy crap! ZBs, where were you? This dude just being the most low-key Warzone player of all time right there. This is not looking good for him. The circle's moving up the mountain, and there's a guy up there right now. Come on. I believe in ZB's man. He's got a white RPK. You know how clean it's gonna be. His shots are gonna be just as clean, right? He's offing them both up. I mean, one of them can do some dirty work on each other. They're right next to each other. I wouldn't go up that. I would not go up that lift. I would not test that. Okay, good. I was like, <sighs> here they come. I had good, actually, good job not shooting that guy. Zeebs, I'm pulling up! Zeebs! Zeebs or Zeebs, how you pronounce your name, man? You have the dual white RPK, dual white weapons, the RPK. He's got the high ground. He's stunning him. He's going in! He took some full damage, but he got the dub! Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude, so the people in this lobby can take fall damage. Me, not so much. So with that exact loadout that was given by Loadout Warzone Twitter, I don't know if I fully agree with it. I mean, I think having better damage over range, uh, having a better recoil management, I think might be the key, but the RPK is such a beam, I don't know if it's really that necessary, but we see that literally everybody in Warzone is running the RPK. So run this weapon while you can, while it's still meta, because it's gonna get nerfed eventually, probably with the season two update. Check out this video that YouTube suggests for you guys. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.